Hey foodies, so you are visiting Vienna. Well, why shouldn't you? It has magnificent architecture, lots of museums, incredible bakeries and historic cafes. But Vienna also has an elaborate and magnificent food culture that you should try. Are you wondering which food perfectly encapsulates the spirit of Vienna? So did I. There are so many excellent videos about food in Vienna that one can get overwhelmed. I know I was, but don't you worry, I will simplify it for you. What is the one dish that you should try? The one I call the ultimate foodies delight. When in Vienna, treat yourself. Eat like an emperor, more specifically like Kaiser Franz Joseph I. Franz Joseph's reign was one of the longest ever recorded. A whopping 68 years. Can you imagine? It was during his reign that Vienna was shaped into the metropolitan gorgeous city that it is today. Buildings like the Riesengrad, the State Opera, the Natural History Museum and the Museum of Fine Arts were some of the buildings that he personally approved. Not only did he change the landscape of Vienna, but he made a tremendous mark on Viennese and Austrian cuisine. If you are interested in more imperial Austrian foods, check out Andong's video on Kaiserschmarrn. If you could try one Viennese dish, it should not be the Wiener Schnitzel that everyone recommends. After all, you are a cultural foodie and you know a lot, so you should try Tafelspitz. What is that you ask? Its literal meaning, it's the tip of the beef. It is essentially simmered beef with bouillon, root vegetables, and these are the Tafelspitz accoutrement. Creamed spinach, applesauce with horseradish, cheese sauce, and hash brown. Don't they look perfect? There are a lot of sources which show that it was the Kaiser's favorite meal, and it wasn't just him. A lot of people ate it four to five times per week. I wish I ate it four to five times per week. During his reign, and all the way up until the end of World War II, people ate Tafelspitz as a lifestyle choice. After all, everyday people always mimicked the elite, and as a political statement to show loyalty to the emperor. If you fancy yourself an intellectual, and you know you are because you are watching my videos, then you should definitely try Tafelspitz because it's a brain food, you might ask. Nico, how is simmered beef and brain food? Well, let me explain. Like the Kaiser, Sigmund Freud ate Tafelspitz very often, and he went on to become one of the forefathers of psychoanalysis, psychiatry, therapy. He managed to make a tremendous impact on Western thought and global culture. He managed all this because he was eating Tafelspitz, of course. If it's good enough for Freud, it is definitely good enough for you. <laughs> Foodie, are you enjoying this video? Then fork that like button and help this channel grow. Time to stop nerding out and get to the point. Where did I eat Tafelspitz? and what were my thoughts on it. After doing my diligent research on Reddit, I decided to eat my Tafelspitz at Gmoa Keller. You can get there either by underground to Stadtpark or by tram at Schwarzenbergplatz. Woo, that was a mouthful, Schwarzenbergplatz. Sorry, Austrians. This is how the menu looks like. Mm, boiled beef. Let's give them boiled beef a try. Mmm, that is so tender. Tafelspitz is an excellent dish, juxtaposing various flavors, aromas, and different temperatures and textures. It's just marvelous. It is extremely simple, yet it feels decadent. You get a little chunk of the simmered beef, followed by some cream spinach, then by the hash brown, and you have a perfect bite. You should definitely try it. I think it's really worth it, not only because of its imperial connotations, but also because of its phenomenal taste. It is an extremely simple dish, but it gives grandma food vibes, if you know what I mean. It's warm, feeling, comforting, and most of all, unassuming. It is a delight. I am not forgetting the dining experience at Moa Keller.
It was such an event to eat among the locals in a candlelit room, in such an amazing decor, ambience, and with such an amazing waitstaff who were friendly and attentive. Overall, in my humble opinion, Gmoa Keller gets a 10 out of 10, and it's not just me who thinks so. So, the Tavush Pits is a wonderful dish that definitely requires more chefistry and technique than the Wiener Schnitzel, and yet is not as well known, and that is a pity. Go ahead and try it. Your palate will get excited, and your stomach will be full and happy. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed watching this video, try watching this video, where I explore the impact of coffee on the modern world. Until the next time, bye!